بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <coughs> I will explain about Z scheme uh, it is also known as electron transport chain of photosynthesis in photosynthesis uh, what happens that okay I will select later first that carbon dioxide and water molecule they react inside the leaf and inside the leaf there are chloroplast molecules and inside the chloro sorry chloroplast organelles and inside the chloroplasts there are chlorophyll molecules and chlorophyll molecules when they absorb solar energy from the sunlight so this solar energy helps in converting the uh, carbon dioxide and water into another two products which is a glucose molecule and oxygen molecule so which compound is responsible for the release of oxygen either is it uh, carbon dioxide or is it water molecule so in this reaction it has been proved that the water molecule is responsible for the release of oxygen and this reaction of release of oxygen from water molecule occurs in the presence of light therefore it is known as light reaction it occurs in the thylakoid, thylakoid of the chloroplast therefore it is also known as thylakoid reaction and here oxygen is released then it is also known as oxidation reaction so it has three names light reaction thylakoid reaction and oxidation reaction at the same time carbon dioxide is reduced to a glucose molecule and it does not need light it may occur in the absence of light even therefore it is known as light independent reaction uh, it occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast therefore it is known as stroma reaction and carbon dioxide is reduced to glucose molecule therefore it is known as reduction reaction okay now uh, we will discuss about how the photolysis of water occur so it occurs through the Z scheme so what is the Z scheme here I will uh, I will explain that Z scheme is about flow of electrons from water yeah I, I need highlighter yeah so flow of electrons from water to NADP when electrons they are received by NADP NADP is reduced to NADPH the whole Z scheme it passes uh, electrons through four major protein complexes one of these complexes is uh, photosystem 2 another uh, four protein complexes one of the protein complexes is photosystem 2 so another one is cytochrome B6 F complex third one is photosystem 1 and fourth one is in this uh, this is the same diagram but uh, it is mentioned that where it occurs so the fourth one is of the protein complex is ATP synthase so we will come back for ATP synthase in addition to these four major protein complexes another protein complex is oxygen evolving complex so we will start from the photolysis of water when photolysis of water occurs four protons are released and an oxygen molecule is released for this release of uh, oxygen mangane four manganese ions chloride ions and calcium ions they help in release of the oxygen protons are released oxygen is released but the electrons they will flow and they will be 
transferred to another uh, protein which is known as YZ still its uh, uh, structure and uh, proper function is not known therefore they uh, the biologists or the plant physiologists they mm, termed it as YZ so when light is received by the reaction center of the uh, in the chlorophyll in photosystem 2 and in photosystem 1 when the light is received at the same time the electrons will be excited and these electrons will be ejected and when these electrons will be ejected they will not come back to their uh, place of origin so the space which is left by uh, by the ejection of electrons in photosystem 2 this space will be filled by the electrons from the water uh, the electrons which are ejected from photosystem 2 where they will go they will uh, uh, okay before that i will just explain what is this p680 680 is a uh, the wavelength 680 nanometer inside the leaves when the chlorophyll molecules absorb light so this light is absorbed at 680 nanometer in the red region therefore it is mentioned as p680 and when electrons are and in case of the photosystem 1 p700 is mentioned so the light is absorbed by chlorophyll molecules at the wavelength of 700 nanometer in far red region okay now i go back to the uh, uh, to the transfer of electrons those electrons which are ejected so electrons which are ejected they will be received by pheophytine and then these electrons will be transferred to plastoquinone so look at uh, this phenomena that pheophytine is receiving electrons so it is electron acceptor but later on this pheophytine donates electrons to plastoquinone so then it will be the electron donor so at the same time it is reduced and at the same time it is uh, it is oxidized also plastoquinone is reduced to plastohydroquinone by uh, receiving electrons and these electrons will be transferred to cytochrome b6 f complex and this complex has several subunits uh, cytochrome b cytochrome c uh, q quinone fesr iron sulfur uh, protein r and cytochrome f so uh, then the electrons from this protein complex are transferred to plastocyanin now there was an empty space of electrons because the electrons from photosystem 1 they were ejected so this space will be filled by the electrons which are coming from p680 so these electrons will be uh, which are ejected from p680 will be received by p700 in photosystem 1 and the electrons which are ejected from photosystem 1 they will be received by chlorophyll then they will be transferred to quinone then to iron sulfur protein x iron sulfur protein a and then iron sulfur protein b so generally uh, it is uh, denoted by fes x fes a and fes b then the electrons are transferred to ferredoxine and from ferredoxine through uh, fnr uh, which is fluoroprotein ferredoxine and adp reductase these electrons are received by uh, nadp so nadp is reduced to nadph where this nadph will be used this nadph will be utilized in the carbon fixation reaction here so where the carbon dioxide is reduced to glucose molecule it will need energy in the form of atp and in the form of nadph right so three protein complexes are mentioned here like 
uh, the fourth one is oxygen evolving complex also so photosystem 2 cytochrome b6 f complex and photosystem 1 there is also another protein complex which is atp synthase now this is the same diagram uh, but it is uh, uh, same figure but it sh it shows that where these reactions they occur so they occur at which part of the membrane so outside the, at the near the surface of the membrane inside the membrane and towards the lumen side where the photolysis will occur towards the lumen side proteins will be released and this uh, sorry protons will be released and this proton is also uh, diffusing from the stroma through plastoquinone and reduced to plastohydroquinone and these two protons they will diffuse back from the lumen through the ATP synthase uh, enzyme and then they will be released into the stroma here this one so when they will be released so ADP adenine uh, adenosine diphosphate reacts with one phosphate group and protons will also be there so they will be released then ATP synthesis will occur and this ATP will also be used in carbon fixation reaction thank you very much so this is uh, overall uh, uh, reaction series of the Z scheme